What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with yet another quick Hackintosh tip for you. Now this quick Hackintosh tip will not only apply to Hackintoshes, but regular Windows based PCs as well. And that's how to check your BIOS revision. Now if you're on Hackintosh, the main reason you want to check your BIOS version is when you're using a DSDT. Now if you watched my quick Hackintosh tip video based all around the DSDT, you'll know that they're not only motherboard specific, but BIOS version specific. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and choose my motherboard here. I have a Gigabyte, socket 1366, x58. AUD3R revision 2.0. Now when you get to your actual motherboard model, you'll see that there's all these different numbers and or letters. You can see my, my BIOS uses a combination of letters. But if you just bought your motherboard offline, you're not going to know what this is until you get it, because it could really be any one of these. If the motherboard has been out for a while, then it will likely be running a newer version of the BIOS, but if it maybe just came out, there will probably only be one or two options here in the first place. But as you can see, my motherboard is actually a couple years old, so there's many different BIOS revisions of it. So when you're setting your Hackintosh up for the first time, if you have an older motherboard like I do with all these different options, this can be sort of confusing. So let's go ahead and check our BIOS version. So here we are, we're still booting into OS X as you can see, but before we start, you want to make sure you have a USB keyboard handy and plugged in. If you're using a Bluetooth setup like I am with the Apple uh, Bluetooth keyboard, it will not work since Bluetooth does not work at the BIOS level. So even like a PS2 keyboard would work, just make sure you have a USB or PS2 keyboard plugged into your computer before continuing. So now let's go ahead and reboot the computer. And there it goes. Now once we get to the little Gigabyte logo, I'm going to go ahead and hit the delete key. Now backspace, a lot of people confuse the two delete the key that's you know in this little group of six keys here not backspace and if you're going to be using an ASUS motherboard the key probably is different I just don't know that off the top of my head simply because I don't use an ASUS motherboard and once the gigabyte logo appears I'm going to go ahead and hit this delete key here just hit it a couple times just to be sure it registers don't need to like go crazy on it but just you know hit it like once or twice and now upon doing that you'll now be in your BIOS settings. Now on an ASUS motherboard these menus will likely be called something different they probably won't be aligned just this way but if you're using a gigabyte board it should be very similar. What you want to do is enter the MIT, the Motherboard Intelligent Tweaker and give it a second and it'll load all these settings down here. Now as you can see right down here we have our BIOS version FG. That simple. It does indeed say it right there and that is what you'll want to download on the Tony Mac database. Now keep in mind, if you have an older motherboard and maybe it's running an older version of the BIOS, as long as you're not experiencing any problems, there really is no need to run out and upgrade to the latest BIOS version. I really only recommend flashing your BIOS if you're having some major issues, maybe your USB ports aren't working properly or something in OS X just isn't working and you've quadruple checked everything. And the reason I don't really recommend flashing your BIOS any more than you absolutely have to is because it's a risky process. If you're flashing your BIOS version and the power goes out, your motherboard is basically no good, it's a brick. Now there are some motherboards out there that have dual BIOSes that you can uh, flip with a switch which one you want to boot into. It's sort of like a nice recovery option. But even at that rate, I just don't recommend doing it. If your motherboard works fine, you know the age old saying, do not fix what isn't broken. Don't go out updating your BIOS version just because there's a new one available. But there you guys go. As you can see, I'm running FG. So if I was downloading my DSDT file, I would download the version FG. And so on and so forth for your different motherboards. So that's all I have for this quick Hackintosh tip. I hope it helped some of you guys out. I get that question pretty often, which one to download. So there you guys go. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and at RoachTechnology on Twitter. And I'll see you guys back here very soon.